a spring like pollinating insects. Hmm. Surprise, surprise! A school uh -huh. event and Abby Archer is sticking uh -huh. her nose in the middle of it. Paige! <laughs> Look at this place! This is... interesting. <gasps> a nature theme, right. Um, listen, I've got a few ideas of my own. Now we'll need a little pink. Make that a lot of pink and plenty of sparkles. Oh, I love sparkles. You, that should go over there. Huh? Uh, no, a little further. Um, yes, the trash. Memo to Paige. One of us is in charge of the dance committee and it's not you. The bee goes up. Yeah, well, I'm student council president and the bee stays down. No, it's... Psst. Abby, we gotta go. Now, this isn't over, Paige. Be up! Huh? Be down! Oh, I'm convinced her sole reason for existence is to get under my skin. I guess everything has to have its natural enemy. Oh, yeah? What's yours? Clowns. Agent, there's been an incident. City Library. Uh, define incident. <laughs> the books are gone. All of them. Huh? Get over there and stake it out. I think it might be time for a little snooping. Grossology style? Someone was hungry. This is worse than I imagined. I've never seen such destruction. What kind of monster could do this? 
Those poor innocent books. I hadn't even finished reading them all yet. According to the police report, the only witness was the librarian on duty. Somehow I don't think we're gonna get much from her. So what do you think? Someone with an insatiable quest for knowledge? The, the crazed owner of a used bookstore? I doubt either of them would have left this stuff. I'll do a quick scan and send it back to the gag lab for a full analysis. But I'd say it's some sort of excrement. Hmm, the pre-analysis is showing that this stuff is packed full of lignin. Hmm? Lignin? That's the indigestible portion of wood. Or paper. <gasps> Our missing books! Or what's left of them. The question is, what could turn books into pellets? Someone who promised to eat their words? Funny. Hmm? Wait. Do you hear that? Abby, are you okay? Ugh, luckily, this stuff broke our fall. <laughs> Looking in a gross kind of way. <gasps> uh, Ty? I feel something moving. So do I. <gasps> what was that? Uh, hey, little guy. Is that a termite? If it is, it's about 50 times too big. Hey guys, I've got conclusive results on that sample you sent me. It's insect excrement, all right. Fresh, aka termite poop. <gasps> Termites? Huh. You don't say. That's not all. This isn't ordinary feces. I'm gonna run it through the fresalizer for a closer look. But this poo contains something strange. It seems like the insects have been... Mutated? Yes! How'd you know? Uh, Ty! <gasps> I'm gonna have to call you back, Rat. Trying to get a live specimen! So, <laughs> which one is the cutest? We're looking for a specimen, not a pet. <sighs> oh! Slippery! Hmm? I'm sorry, old buddy. I've always loved you. I hope these guys want dessert. <laughs> Strange. They're all leaving together. Come on, we gotta get this termite back to the gag lab. Timmy here is a subterranean worker termite. Aren't you, Timmy? Timmy? Are you sure you can handle two pets? What's the problem? Hermes and Timmy get along just fine. Okay, there's a bunch of things you need to know about subterranean termites. First, they come in a bunch of different types. We call them casts. At the top, we've got the queen. She gives all the orders. Since nothing happens in the colony unless she says so, she's the one you need to find ASAP. Sounds like the student council president. Who? Better. Next is these little cuties called the winged reproductives. They fly off and become the kings and queens of new colonies. We need to watch for them because it'll mean that our problem is spreading. The soldier termites are the blind defenders of the colony and you seriously don't want to cross them. And then we have Timmy, the worker termite. He maintains all the tunnels and cares for the colony. Don't you, Timmy? And I bet you do a great job, too. <clears throat> he's been mutated, which is why he's the size of a small dog. Even worse, he's getting bigger, fast. We've got to stop him. We just need to find out who's pulling the strings. The queen? The queen.
to do about it. Okay, are we all in this together? It's knowing when to make peace. You were a worthy opponent. Knowing when it's story time. Would you like me to read you a story? Did I hear story? Yeah! And Cubo knows even the king gets to laugh. <laughs> Babar, he knows how to be king. Babar, only on Cubo. The library. Back to the scene of the crime. Time to dig a little deeper. Sisters first. Come on, let's go! Mm. Abby? Whoa! Big sister close-up. Hmm. Huh. You should wear green more often. It really brings out your eyes. Knock it off. Where do you want to start? Let's see. When termites eat, they get flatulent. You should feel right at home. <laughs> Funny. Hmm? Uh, I'm picking up some serious emissions. Yep. Smells like termite toots to me. Signal is strongest this way. Come on. Hmm. The heat signature places something right here. And it's way too big to be an insect. <gasps> Come on, let's go! Call me that! Labra, can we get an ID here? Oh boy, this is Kara Kitan, a.k.a. Insectiva. Kara was a promising university student, specializing in entomology, the study of insects. What is this? My life story? But her interest in insects grew into an obsession. I prefer devotion. Seeing how insects were treated at her university, one night she freed them all and disappeared into the darkness with her six-legged sidekicks. From then on, Insectiva turned against her own species, plotting for a day when insects would rule the Earth. Insects already outnumber and outmass you mammals. I'm here to help them out. Thank you. Uh, sis, she's leaking. Oh, that smells horrible. She's the termite queen. Queens control their colonies with chemical pheromones. Bees and ants do it too. Ooh, you get an A for annoying. This can't be good. I never kid about farts. This is a tough one. How do you defeat the queen when she's got a whole colony behind her? That depends. Are you talking about Insectiva or Paige? <gasps> <gasps> or both. The gym is pink. And I mean the gym is pink. Paige! This all comes down now. Nuh-uh. It stays up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Oh, arguing with you is giving me stress lines. I need moisturizer. Hmm. It's amazing. Yeah. What a couple of drones. No, not them. You and Paige. You're like two queen termites battling for control of the same colony. The only way she'll be queen is if I crown her. Don't tempt me. But with more than one queen giving the orders, the pheromones get all mixed up. <gasps> Ty, that's it! What's it? Pheromones! It's perfect. Insectival will never see this coming. But her termites will. Or at least smell it coming. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is synthesized trail pheromone. It calls termites to a food source. Spray this and they'll follow it anywhere. And this one is the queen's distress call? Yup, it'll have the soldiers scrambling to protect their precious ruler, whether that's Insectiva or you. What's this one? I ordered that one. It's gonna be our secret weapon. And that would be? Let's just say it's time to fight fire with fire. It's enough. Grossologists, they're all over the city. So itchy. I can feel it crawling. Just look at... <laughs> I can't take it anymore! Look! Oh no! That's the mother of all termite mounds. These bugs are moving in for good. Not in my town. can only mean one thing. They're setting up new colonies. And new colonies means hundreds of new queens, which means millions of hungry new giant termites. This isn't just the destruction of our city. It could be the whole country. Or the world. It'll take forever. <gasps> there! Two rides, no waiting. A little spritz to get their attention. <laughs> With this pheromone, they'll follow me anywhere. Come to mommy. You're not there, Mom. Yeah, you're more like a deranged babysitter. <gasps> How did you get in here? Hitched a ride on the Termite Express. Impossible! They only obey me! Not anymore. There's a new queen in town. Hey, Termites! Defend your new leader, me! <laughs> Very clever. But I can keep this up all day. Can you? <laughs> we don't need to, Insectiva. Go, Abby. Trust me. We've got this. <laughs> Ants and termites are natural enemies. And you know what soldiers do to invading ants, right? <laughs> You're too late. I've already sent out my reproductives. Soon they will populate the world! I called them back. Trail pheromones. What? You! There's a new queen in town. Another crazed villain down for the count. <laughs> Great job, grossologist. Thanks, detective. Yes, it was nice to have you along as I saved the city from certain destruction. If it weren't for me, the town would be overrun by termites the size of gorillas. You mean like that, director? Huh. Hi. Hello. 
Yes. So creepy. Don't worry. We'll bring Chimmy back down to size with Insectiva's mutating machine. Just like we did the rest of them. Right, Director? So many legs! Can feel them all over! No! Stop it! Shut up! I guess he had to run. So many people to save and so little time. One queen down and another to go. You ready for Paige? I think so. Things can't get any worse, right? Huh? Depends on your definition of worse. <laughs> huh? It's not ruined. We'll just have to be a little creative. <laughs> I have to admit, I didn't think two queens could work together. But this is nice. Yeah, well, don't count on it ever happening again. Hi, uh, I was wondering if you would uh, like, like to dance? Love to. You snooze, you lose. Hmm. Abby, you don't wear perfume. Oh, it's not for me. And it's not perfume. <laughs> Abby, you didn't. What? Labrad had some spare time, so I had him whip me up a batch of modified human distress pheromone. <laughs> Yuck! What is that nastiness? It lets the workers know that the queen is in danger. Nice perfume, Abby. One more reason why you're so popular. Hey, watch it! Let me are, are you crazy? Let me go! Oh. It turns out that humans use pheromones too. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Wanna dance? <laughs> 